killer. What is going on guys, it's Gamer here, back again with another video, and today we are going to be doing another Dragon Ball Super episode review, and today's episode is going to be episode 90 for Dragon Ball Super, and the title of this episode is titled, See the Wall That Must Be Passed, Goku vs. Gohan. So as you can already tell from the title of the episode, we're going to have a really epic fucking fight. <laughs> I uh, apologize for my language, but seriously, I've, I've watched the episode already clearly. Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't be making this video if I didn't already see it, but this episode was really, really good in my opinion. It was really good. It was mainly fighting like basically all of the time besides a little bit at the beginning and a couple like cuts and scenes and stuff like that. But most of, the, most of it is fighting between uh, Gohan and Goku. But the fights, uh, but the fights between Gohan and Goku were absolutely amazing, you know, and it's some of the absolute better episodes, in my opinion, that I've seen in kind of like the last couple of weeks. So the beginning first scene starts off with uh, Gohan and Piccolo. They're kind of out in the middle of nowhere, as they have have been for this entire time. And so uh, Piccolo says, Gohan, my, uh, my training for you ends here. And he's basically just explaining that training for Gohan is kind of already met its end right now, right? So he needs to test his current strength of power, right? So there's only basically one person who he's ready to fight and test, and test his strength, you know? And that's the obvious that's the obvious person being Goku, his dad. So we jump off to the next scene and Roshi, Tien, and Goku are all at like this restaurant and Goku's having you know some food obviously right it, uh, Gohan and Piccolo walk in Piccolo kinda looks like really confident like saying uh, kinda like showing off not really showing off but he's like showing that his son with my training and stuff like that has become very powerful not saying that Goku couldn't train uh, Gohan himself it's just that Piccolo was uh, was the obvious person to train Gohan better because that was his, that was his first ever you know martial arts teacher I guess and it, you know Piccolo is really like hard on on Gohan and I'm not like I'm not against that whatsoever I don't think anybody should be against that getting pushed like to basically the peak of your limits is kind of how like Gohan and every, every every single Saiyan basically becomes excuse me it becomes stronger so uh, you know, Gohan is asking Goku to basically, like, fight him, you know, because he needs to test his current strength and power. So they go back out in the middle of nowhere, uh, they're in this, like, kind of mountain arena looking area, and Roshi's explaining, like, like Roshi's basically saying, like, uh, the rules are, if you get knocked out of the area, you lose. And so basically, it's kind of like the same concept of, you know, the, the actual tournament of power rules. So that's basically it, and it's a 2v2, uh, and in the beginning half of this episode of Goku and Tien versus Gohan and Piccolo. And so, uh, I thought this, this line was actually kind of, was kind of funny for Roshi to say, since Roshi is... Uh, was one of the ma main people who's known Goku for, for a very long time. It, it was, he was his first, you know, teacher. And he says that monkeyish little tyke Goku became the strongest martial artist. It, and when he said that, I was like, wow. Like, I just, I just remember watching the first episode of Dragon Ball. And he was like just this monkey boy, right? And just who kind of just lived by himself in the middle of nowhere. And, and now he's basically the strong, <clears throat> excuse me, the strongest being on earth so I thought that was really funny so the fight begins Gohan and Goku are going at it right and Tien's just kinda like he's just kind of amazed at what the hell is just going on right in front of him right he almost like kinda can't keep up and so Piccolo actually starts charging uh, some energy not for a sp uh, special beam cannon obviously not because if you know that hit anybody they would die uh, he's, he's, uh, he's actually uh, kind of building up energy for I guess just a super explosive wave and it kind of destroys the arena later on 
but we'll get we'll get to that a little bit later. So Piccolo starts charging up his energy. Uh, Tien and Goku they charge at uh, Gohan and Piccolo. Uh, Tien just gets fucking he just gets fucking knocked fucking to the ground, bro. He gets fucking uh, he gets punched in his fucking gut, and he's like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought that was like kind of funny, but you know, it, it's a fight. So Gohan seems to be kind of like starting to go at full power. You know, he's trying to fight his dad, you know, who's basically the strongest guy that he knows. You know, he's the perfect person to really test out his strength. So uh, Goku and Gohan, you know, they're fighting each other. They're going at it. Uh, Gohan's trying to pretty much reach the peak of uh, Goku's like full on power. Right, so I'm gonna skip forward a couple of scenes. Um, you know, Tien kind of shoots off like uh, a key blast cannon. That's what he says. Gohan deflects it, and then he kind of like shoves Tien to the fucking ground. Um, it, was, it was really awesome. And so uh, Piccolo actually destroys the whole arena, and then that's pretty much it. Uh, Gohan comes out of nowhere after it happens. You know, and he starts going for a punch over towards. Uh, Goku. Goku barely blocks it at the very end of it, and then uh, Tien's uh, like the both of you, you need to stop. Like you, you, you blew away the mountain fighting stage and stuff like that. That's what he said. And so uh, we cut off to the halfway point of the episode, and he asks his dad, uh, like, I want to fight you one on one, so I can actually fight you at your fullest strength, and you can fight me at my fullest strength because I need to test my power. You know, so this this whole this whole episode is off with Goku and Gohan, and I was I was really liking the episode up to this point. You know, I was getting really excited in my chair because Gohan is showing a lot of promise, a lot of promise, and I hope nothing, you know, bad happens in the tournament of power because I don't I don't know. I hope he's not like the first person to get knocked out. You know, because I would be really disappointed in this, considering the fact that he. Um, Something actually happened at, at, at the towards the end of the episode, but I'll get to that when we actually reach that point in the video. So Goku goes actually uh, Super Saiyan 2, and so uh, we cut off towards another scene. We actually get to see uh, Goasu again. We actually get to see Goasu again. And if you don't know who Goasu is, uh, for whatever reason, he is the Supreme Kai of Universe 10. So he's trying to figure out uh, who he should pick for the fighters for the tournament of power then uh, the angel and the god of destruction in universe 10 are saying like you're 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 thinking too hard with your head just think of just think with your body you know he's basically saying like this tournament's all about flesh i know it sounds weird but like just basically brute force you know it, he's ba he's basically just going off saying like with the tournament of power you know it's the tournament of power so you know brute force and strength is kind of what the uh, he's kind of what he looked for and so uh universe 10 isn't gonna last very long that's all i'm gonna say it's because in the middle as goku uh, not goku i'm sorry uh goasu is saying like you know universe 10 rests in in your shoulders and stuff like that uh the dude who you first initially see he's like yo hold on a second bro i need to drink my fucking energy drink or whatever right he, like like protein or whatever right they have to drink this shit basically at like a certain time or else who knows what the fuck happens so i think universe 10 is definitely going to be one of the first few uh universes to immediately get uh knocked out of the arena so skip forward a cut uh, skip forward a couple of scenes uh goku and gohan they are separate apart goku's in super saiyan 2 and they actually both have uh ascendu beans so they're gonna uh, they can get like all their energy and strength back Right, so they can actually go full power. So Goku goes basically full power Super Saiyan 2, I guess, and Gohan goes full power and you know his his ultimate form, his mystic form. That's what people have been calling it, right? Gohan shows great promise. You know, he's he, he's showing off a lot of just amazing, just absolute fucking strength. You know, it it just reminds me back uh, towards the Buu saga and Z, you know, and stuff like that. It was absolutely amazing, you know, the fight, I want you guys to go watch the episode just for sh the sheer fight itself, they're going at it, uh, Goku uh, gets pushed back, Gohan's getting, getting pushed back, Gohan gets drastically pushed back, like, towards, like, the middle of the fight, uh, by Goku, and then so, 
uh, Goku shoots off a Kamehameha towards Gohan. Gohan does the exact same thing, and then uh, 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 Goku uses instant transmission to get towards uh, Gohan, and then Gohan starts going basically at full power. He's starting to go at full power. He's pushing back Goku. He's still only in his, his Super Saiyan 2 transformation. And then Gohan, the whole time, he's basically saying, like, get serious, get serious. Like, show me your full power. Goku's surprised basically this whole time, right? And then uh, Tien, Piccolo and stuff like that. Uh, mainly Tien, he's the one who actually says this, I'm pretty sure. He's, he's like, this is amazing. So this is a serious fight between Saiyans. And... It's a serious fight, but, you know, it's just kind of like whatever. We actually get a little pan shot of Vegeta, and he kind of actually has like a little like smirk on his face because, you know, he can obviously sense and feel uh, the energy of the fight between uh, Gohan and Goku. And I think he's honestly like kind of like really impressed with Gohan because if you remember, uh, Go uh, not Gohan, uh, Vegeta actually said that one of the people who's had some of the utmost of potential was Gohan. And I've always agreed with that. Not just because he's my favorite character, but I've always just sort of agreed with that because Gohan showed great potential. He has the potential to be literally the strongest character in, this, in the Dragon Ball cast, you know? And so they kind of have like a little clash of like fist or whatever. Uh, and then Gohan's just telling Goku like get serious already spins him the fuck around sends him into the air And he's saying like go at full power full strength Fucking Piccolo is cheering on over towards Gohan saying like yo kick his ass or whatever, right? Goku goes Super Saiyan Blue and then Gohan's still telling him go at full power because Goku could still go uh, top that with top with the Super Saiyan Blue with the Kaioken, and that's exactly what he does. He tops Kaioken on top of Super Saiyan Blue. So we get to see that again. We're gonna see that a lot, I imagine, which I'm always happy about. That's I think I think Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken is really fucking cool. Go on, smirks a little bit. He's like, yep. Now he's now he's getting serious, and now he's at full power. So Goku and Gohan, they have like a clash of fists, and it's it's fucking awesome. You guys need to see. Just like these, the, the, the scenes, the fucking, all this shit, right? The whole planet is shaking. Fucking, and then it's all over. It's all done, right? Go on lost. Go on lost. He kind of like depowers or whatever. His aura kind of disappears. And then he just kind of falls towards the ground. Uh, of course, Goku, you know, picks him up. And he's, he's, just a, he's just a proud papa. I can already tell, you know, just by his face. He's like, yep, that's that's my son, and he's strong. That's awesome, you know. And at the end of the episode, uh, Gohan saying like, thank you very much for uh, training me and fighting with me and stuff like that. And then Goku uh, comes out with, I've decided on the leader for Universe Seven. And the leader for Universe Seven is Gohan. Gohan is the leader for Universe Seven. And uh, I'm not happy for that just because he's my favorite character like I've always said before previously in other videos I'm happy for that because Gohan is Just logically a very intelligent person, you know, he is a scholar So he's, he's very like immensely like smart and stuff like that He's very powerful obviously from this episode of what we've already just watched right and I think he's gonna be a good leader as long as you know he stays focused and he doesn't get like too hot-headed and stuff like that excuse me so uh, the announcer is going off saying saying all his other crap or whatever <laughs> and he also actually mentions there's like four hours and 30 minutes left for the tournament of power uh, if you guys have already saw um, my episode 90 spoilers video that I posted a couple days ago uh, we already kind of know what's gonna happen in, in the next like couple episodes so uh, be sure to look out for that, um, of course, obviously. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video. Uh, if you guys obviously did enjoy the video, be, sh be sure to drop a like on it. And if you're brand new to the channel, also be sure to subscribe. And go down in the description. Uh, one of the first links in the description should be towards my Twitch channel. Because I have been streaming a lot on Twitch lately for like the past uh, couple days or so. Almost a full week. And uh, I've actually already started my playthrough for uh, <clears throat> uh, for uh, Tales of the Borderlands, Tales from the Borderlands, and that game is absolutely amazing. I highly suggest you guys go down in the description, go follow my Twitch channel, 
and just go and go enjoy just whatever you like about me I guess but you know uh, that, that that's the end of the video I'm gonna go ahead and end the video like literally right now before I go ahead and start rambling on like I always fucking do but yeah drop a like subscribe if you're new have a wonderful day peace out